Ponape State incorporates Ponape Island, a large volcanic island with eight atolls totaling 133 square miles, 25 smaller islands within a barrier reef, and 137 widely scattered coral atolls. Ponape Island is the largest in the Federated States of Micronesia and has a road around the island extending 49 miles. Ponape lies 7 degrees north of the equator, 1,050 miles southeast of Guam, and 3,240 miles southwest of Honolulu. Its population is estimated at 35,000. Normal daytime temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. In Ponape, the Marine and Environmental Research Institute of Ponape, MARIP, is working with farming of the Micronesian wool sponge, Coccinoderma matthewsi, with community members in Ponape. The footage you're about to see will cover various aspects of sponge farming, from collection of wild sponges to the cultivation of sponges on hanging gardens in the lagoon. In order to sell sponges through the trade aid conduit in New Zealand, Marip had to qualify the sponges as a sustainable fair trade item, thereby ensuring greater returns to the farmers for their product. The wool sponges are collected by scuba divers in the clear waters of the barrier reef passes anywhere from 15 to 70 feet deep. Two-thirds of the sponge is cut off for transplanting. The remaining one-third of the wild sponge will continue to grow and regenerate itself. The cut sponge is put into a collecting bag and eventually taken to the boat for transport to the farm in a seawater cooler. The sponges are stored for a few days on the bottom near the sponge farm before they are cut into smaller pieces and transplanted in the hanging gardens. Within a week or so, the sponges are ready to be cut into small cubes approximately 4 inches on a side.
These cubes are then strung on a nylon line with a lay needle and the loop is tied so that they can be suspended by that string. The hanging sponge garden is composed of a series of lines suspended off the bottom creating a spider web of crisscrossing main lines from which are suspended the sponge transplants. This hanging garden is supported at four corners and each corner can be released and floated to the surface in order to hang new transplants or to clean the sponges. In this sequence you can clearly see the crossing lines that act like a spider web. From this web are hanging the sponge uh, transplants. These sponges are hanging in the water column and are able to readily filter water for nutrients. Once the main lines are released, the entire garden can be floated to near the surface so that the workers can get at the sponges hanging from the cross lines. Here the divers are attaching the new transplants to the lines by simply looping the sponge lines over the main cross lines and letting the sponges hang free. The sponges that have been suspended for a while need to be cleaned by gently rubbing them to loosen sediment or get rid of algal growth on the lines. Once the work is done, the corner lines are pulled tight again and the hanging garden is submerged a couple of meters below the surface. It takes two to three years for the sponge transplants to grow to a harvestable size. The harvested sponges are cleaned, dried and packaged for sale, providing income for the local farmer in a sustainable, environmentally friendly way.